village. Oh. Urban Outfitters. Okay. This is everything that I got. I'm crazy because I literally just came back from Bali, but I decided to stop spending money on designer and like really expensive clothes and spend all of my money on traveling. So I decided to surprise my family with a trip to the Bahamas. It's supposed to be me, my mom, my brother, my sister, but my brother's working so he's not able to come. So it's just me, my mom, and my sister. But I think it'd be fun just to like spend time with my family. Like it's always been my goal to be able to take care of my family and to like just treat them. So I'm really excited for this vacation because we, I used to do this i like took my family to like paris and london and we've done a couple vacations but we haven't done one recently because of the pandemic but moral of the story is i'm trying to not spend too much money on clothes and i need clothes because i i feel like my style has changed so much since i last had like summer here <laughs> so i want to go to the thrift store and try and find some like cute pieces you know fingers crossed i feel like i'm always able to find stuff at the thrift stores though ah! let's go shopping oh, i wish i could bring blue shopping they don't like doggies here <laughs> in la you could bring your dog anywhere but in canada they just like are not about it still have to unpack look i brought all of my podcasting equipment so i could hopefully film something um what am i looking for oh my battery bye baby love you I think the only thing that I can't really get at the thrift store is bathing suits. I do have some bathing suits here in Canada, but most of my bathing suits are in LA. I think it'd be nice to get some. You know what I kind of wanted? I want to go to garage. Like I haven't been to garage in so long. It's just like a good go-to Canadian store. And maybe get a coffee. Ooh, Lord Voldemort is here. <laughs> I could go for an ice cap. Maybe I'll get an ice cap. Hey, can I have a medium ice cap with almond milk? I'm sorry. Um, do you have like the Justin Bieber cold brew? Yeah, we do. Can I get that, please? Thanks. Oh man, I wanted a nice guy. Why is the machine not working? <laughs> hey. Thank you. Thank you. Um, will you also have a straw? Yeah, no problem. Yay. I love your eyebrows, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> have a good one. I got my Justin Bieber cold brew. She'll do. <laughs> but yeah, there's also something about thrift shopping that is just so much more rewarding than just shopping at the mall. Like there's something like the serotonin that I get from finding a golden in the rust. <laughs> like I get so much serotonin. Finding one good thing and all of the bad things in the thrift store. And I think it also just like makes you play with your style a little bit more. I feel like a lot of the times at the malls it's like trendy clothes that you know, are trendy, probably gonna be trendy for like a year or two. Whereas the thrift store is a lot of older pieces that could be a little bit more timeless. And I feel like I gravitate towards my thrifted pieces a lot more than my actual mall shopping pieces. I don't know, but I think this will be fun because a lot of my clothes in Canada are all just like winter clothes. <laughs> They're all like jeans and like turtlenecks and stuff. So I think it'll be fun to like be able to explore and see if they have any cute summer clothes. Also, I'm kind of nervous because whenever I go to the thrift store, I always gravitate towards like the Levi jeans and like the oversized like baggy um like men's stuff whereas summer clothes i don't even know what i'm gonna be looking for because a lot of the times i don't like the women's stuff i like the men's stuff so much more so i don't know we'll see he does oh my but God. for me personally i do you know when way. i'm getting I'm something to about Emma. me and that's what i love about i don't know how to fork so I like to go to the Value Village in the city because I feel like all the rich people live in the city and that's where they donate all of the good shit. So yeah. Let's see. Value Village. Value Village is my personal favorite thrift store in Canada. I always donate here too. Yay. Oh my god. I'm in the girls section and I found this like Wilfred dress, but it's just not key. I don't know. Ugh. I feel like I always hate the girls section. <laughs> Okay, for skirts, I feel like I've seen the Y2K, like tiny, you know, tiny skirt. You know, Paris Hilton's like, the shorter the skirt, the better. <laughs> I don't know what she said, but I think a tiny skirt could be cute for vacation, and they have to have one here. Oh, look at cute. Look at all the jeans. Yeah. I don't need jeans. I don't need jeans, I don't need jeans, I don't need jeans, I don't need jeans, I don't need jeans. <laughs> These are Urban Outfitters. Found some Zara for five dollars. Tanks and tees. I found this for seven dollars. Mm -hmm. I like the rhinestones. You know the meme, and it's like, this is my song. This is my. Sh 
This is me with the men's section in the thrift store. Like, this is so cute. This is what I have in LA. $3. I can't, I can't home decor shop right now. That's, it needs to be its whole day. Mm -hmm. I think I got a lot of what I wanted. <laughs> I think the tag fell off of this one. Thanks. All right, I definitely got a lot of cute summer pieces that I liked. I even picked up a couple things for a special someone because they're visiting me in Canada. And my biggest love language is acts of service. So I kind of want to like, I bought them two outfits so they could choose from what they want. And I'm going to be like, we're going to have dinner here. Here's your outfit. Get all cute. Be ready. I don't know. I'm excited about it. And I kind of want to make like a little gift basket of like just Canadian snacks. I'm pretty sure I have a gift basket at home. Oh, should I just buy one here? That's like $2. I'm pretty sure sure you have it at home no i have it at home i know that i do do i yes i do i know i need to stop i have a gift basket i don't need to buy it this specific thrift store was not slapping as hard as i wanted it to so i feel like i could go to maybe one more and i also did i wanted to go to garage too just to get bathing suits because they have bathing suits here but a lot of them they're not like matching two-piece sets and like i know that you can wash it and put it in the washer but like i just feel like bathing suits i should probably buy new their selection was also just not that good here but i think i'm gonna go to one more thrift store garage and that's it. Maybe get jewelry. I don't need jewelry. We'll see. Got everything. Oh my god, I feel like I look like a grandma right now, but I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. Oh my god. I found so many good things at this other thrift store and then really cute swim pieces from Garage. <laughs> We got a sponsor today's vlog. So you guys know I talk about this stuff all the time in my girl talk vlog, but today's video is actually sponsored by Love Honey. So this is the C Stimulator and Womanizer Premium 2. This one's my favorite. Love Honey is the home for all things pleasure and self-love, and it's the biggest sex store in the planet. I personally have no shame in my game. I will talk about masturbation in front of everyone. There's so many benefits to exploring your body, whether you're by yourself or you're with your partner. And I think us as women, we shouldn't be ashamed about talking about things like this men have no shame talking about this so we shouldn't but i'm so happy they wanted me to sponsor the womanizer which is my absolute number one favorite sex toy sex toys can elevate your solo experiences and your shared experiences girl and love honey is really good if you're just a beginner and you don't really know what you're doing this one is my personal favorite this is the womanizer premium 2 and i got it in this little pink color so the reason why this one is my favorite is because it's an air suction toy she just one button press away and this is actually my favorite air pleasure toy on the market you basically put this on you know your clip it's all in your control you can start it with level one you can put up different levels it has smart silence technology which means it only starts once it's actually touching your skin and as the premium 2 you can actually get this one wet you could do it in the shower and it also has autopilot so let's talk about tesla no she, she has autopilot so you can just sit back relax and enjoy the show <laughs> but yeah click the link down below if you guys want to check it out i'll have all the links for the womanizer premium too down below and any codes or anything that you guys like but mwah, thank you so much to love honey for sponsoring today's vlog this is literally my favorite sex toy so i'm so happy that they were able to sponsor today's vlog but enjoy the rest of the video bye <laughs> oh, is that your baby Yoda? <laughs> okay, I put my extensions in. I don't know. I haven't been wearing my extensions a lot because I don't know if you could tell my brown. You can't really tell on camera. But you could really tell in person my brown. My hair is just basically turning from black to brown, I think, because when we were in Bali, my hair lightened. So I have a hair appointment tomorrow, but ta-da! This is everything that I got today. I don't even know where to start. I think I'm gonna start with garage because I'm super excited about the bathing suits that I got there. Okay, first of all, this is the bathing suit. I literally put it on hold because I was like, I just need this bathing suit. If I get anything today, I need this bathing suit. It's this pink. And you know what it reminds me of? BDM the label. Do you guys know? They have like this circle. And they have the double. It kind of like cinches you at your waist with the double waistline right here. What is what are you doing back there? And then I have the matching bottoms to go with it. And they have the little circle rings right here. Oh my god, this is so flattering. I love the design of this bathing suit. I have it in white from BDM the label, and it's so flattering. I think I wore it like every single day during the, during the Bali trip, but this one is so good. I liked it so much that I got it in this blue color. I don't know. I just saw this on their Instagram or the girls would just wear this and they'd have like the blue water in the back, and like it's just so flattering the way that the double waistline is of the circle and it has the same matching bottoms the lady at garage was so nice she was like oh my 
you're like, we are completely sold out, but we have your size on the mannequin. I could take it off the mannequin. And I was like, oh my God, I would feel so bad if like I tried it on and it just didn't fit. <laughs> and then you like took it off the mannequin. She's like, don't worry about it. I'm going to take it off the mannequin anyway. So at least you could try it on. It ended up fitting. So bless the girl that was working. Where was I? The Dundas Mall. What? I don't know what mall I was at. Bless her. Bless her heart because she was a fucking queen. And then the last thing that I got, I just wanted a plain white because honestly, I wore white most of the trip. It is kind of boring, but I think everyone needs like a plain white bathing suit. And this one's super cute because it's very frilly and it makes your tiktatas look very nice. It's kind of full coverage on the bum, which a lot of other bathing suits are just like thongs on the bum. And I'm going to Bahamas with my family. So this one at least is like a little bit coverage. And then I am so happy about this thrift store around. Oh my God. I found actually a lot of cute summer pieces that I, w I was scared that I wasn't going to be able to find because you, you heard me. I was like, all I find is like stuff in the men's section. I can never find cute stuff in the girls section. It's always so hard. But some of the stuff I found in the men's section, first of all, as you can see in all of my Bali vlogs, I'm obsessed with colorful, like just like throws. What This isn't a throw, just like colorful blouses. I think this is so cute. Imagine with like some yellow sandals or a yellow bag and just like a plain white bathing suit or even the pink one or the blue one could be kind of cute too. So I got this in yellow. They had so many colors. Look at this. I got it in green. Woo! I've been loving the color green recently. And I think this will be super cute with the bathing suit because they have little hints of green. Imagine this with like jean shorts or something cute. And I have this from White Fox, but it's in LA. So I got it here because it was only $6. But look at this hot pink one. Like, you can't tell me this isn't White Fox Boutique. Like, this is so cute. Ooh. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> so I got it in pink. And then I think I also got this in white. I like to just have a bunch of these white ones because I always end up staining them. I can't keep anything white. And this one's Club Monica, which is honestly, it's pretty expensive. So I got it in a size small. It was like $13, which is a little bit expensive for the thrift store. But I think because it's Club Monica, that's probably why it was so expensive. And then lastly, I know you're like, Adeline, all you got was blouses. But this is so cute. Like this little pink one. Imagine with like jean shorts, your bathing suit, you like tie up like this like I don't know I think that it's like cute and it's like a fun color this one oh this one's 10 bucks that was cheaper than that but again still pretty affordable and then I was in their scarf section and I was like how cute would this be as a sarong like this tell me this isn't Kylie Swim Huh? And it was six dollars. I thought that this would be cute paired with this like a sarong like that It's actually the same color like the same hot pink But I thought like with your bathing suit just wrapped up like this could be kind of fun And it has like little pops of blue and yellow So maybe wearing like a yellow purse or like even yellow shoes could be kind of fun I also found a sarong in this blue green color and of course I thought it would be cute for this like how perfect does that match? It's just a scarf it was four dollars and oh sorry blue. <laughs> i thought it would just be cute to just use as a cover-up i don't know even the white bathing suit and then another thing that i wanted to find was like a y2k mini skirt i found it bitch. i don't know what brand this is seal seal didn't nikki and gabby do a collab with seal i feel like i've heard of that before but it's just like a super tiny mini skirt and i thought that it would just be cute for y2k vibes i even want to get you know the little belt the y2k belt i had that at a garage but i don't know i didn't get it and then i found this crochet top. I know it doesn't look like very much, but I thought it would be super cute. Jaded London has this kind of thing where like it's kind of cropped. I thought that I could maybe like crop it like that and have like a long side right here. It's only six bucks. Or how much was it? Yeah, seven dollars. So I don't mind cropping it and seeing what it would look like and have that like distressed kind of look. But that's everything that I got from, from this round at the thrift store. And then for this round at the thrift store, I was so happy about this find. Look at this. Zara jeans. And they're exactly my size and they were $5.49 one of my favorite pairs of jean shorts was my friend Paige's. I literally, I borrowed it from her and they're these Zara jeans. I've never been able to find them. Like they're always sold out. I swear these are so similar and the quality is like pretty good too. Next up, I just got these white shorts. I don't know the brand or anything, but I just thought that it was cute with like a white cover up. You can never go wrong with that. And then to fulfill my fantasy of going to college, I only ever went to makeup college. <laughs> I didn't go to like a real, real college. I went to makeup school or beauty school. I guess that kind of counts like I technically do have a, like, a degree in it but I got this U of T it's like University of Toronto hoodie I just thought that it was cute to just kind of like lounge around in and I don't know just like live my college dreams this is a gift this is a gift 
This is a gift. This is a gift. And then I have so many hoodies, but I don't have any shorts to wear them with. I'm always like going commando around my house, but it's kind of scary because like my dad lives here. So <laughs> these shorts, these are just Roots shorts. It says Roots on it. I was so happy about it. And I got them for $10. Just like a cute like lounge. I like to just lounge in these like shorts, like these booty shorts. So I also found these TNA shorts. These were $4.99. And then just some Nike shorts. These were $12.49, which is kind of expensive, but I think that I'll wear them a lot. And they're just like super good for lounging. And I could wear this in like a sports bra. Wait, didn't I get a sports bra? Yeah, I found this. <laughs> I don't know if this is cute or not, but it just reminds me of Victoria's Secret fashion show. Like, oh, it's just, I don't know. I thought it was cute. It was $8.49, but that's everything that I got for the second round. Hey, my food is here. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 no. Move back, move back. Sit. Wait. My yeah. It's my Uber Eats! I'm so happy! <laughs> I am trying something new. I, You guys know I love my thug bogey. And I found this place. It was like 20 minutes away. It was pretty close. Ah, ooh, it's pretty big. I'm so happy! You know what? I need to go to the grocery store and find like, a good Asian market to make my own rice cakes because Andre always would help me. You know what Andre found? He found duck bogey at Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's! Are you serious? Because like all of the um, Asian grocery stores that I normally get my food from, they're normally in Koreatown, which is like 30 minutes away where I live in LA. But Toronto's pretty diverse. There's a lot of good Asian grocery stores around here, like Oceans. My mom loves Oceans, but I need like Korean grocery store. Okay, let's see. Oh, instead of rice cakes, this one's made with these noodles. Mmm. Mmm. This is pretty good. And this one was open up late. That's what's important to me. Oh, it's kind of spicy, actually. What's the most important to me with Uber Eats is oh, how close it is and how late it's open because I always have the munchies at like 9 p.m. or when it's super late. Mmm. This one's good. I'm so sorry. I need to gatekeep this one. I can't tell you guys where I got this. This is too good. Oh my god. This is too good. Woo! This is my song. Play that shit. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. My favorite is having spicy foods with milk, specifically strawberry milk. Have you ever had that? The Nestle pink strawberry milk with this is so good. But dairy always makes me have poop after. So I might just have water with this, but oh, I don't know if I could survive on hot ones. You ever look at that? Like you, you see those um, celebrity interviews when eating hot wings. I'm always like, mm. in the back of my mind, I'm like, I know I can do that. If Olivia Rodrigo could do it, like I know I could do it. But then I see all these like grown men not be able to do it. And I'm like, but Olivia Rodrigo could do it. I'm like, is it really that hard? But at the same time, isn't she, she's Filipino. No, Filipino food's pretty sweet. I don't think it's that spicy. I don't know. There's a little devil on my shoulder that says I could do it. But I have a feeling when I actually, if I ever do do it, or you know how you could buy it? You could buy like all the sauces. I have a feeling it's actually gonna be really spicy. But I I don't know. My toxic trait is thinking that I could do it. <laughs> Missy, you do not want this. This is gonna make you diarrhea. Poop so much. No spicy. Again, thank you so much to Love Honey for sponsoring today's vlog. If you guys wanna check anything out, I'll put all the links down below. It's lovehoney.com and you can use my code Adeline 20 for 20% off. Oh, that's a big yawn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I'm gonna throw all of the thrifted clothes in the wash before we head out on vacation. But today's merch shout out of the day goes to, I don't know if you guys watch my TikToks, but a while ago, I went to this facial company called Sula Face. It's here in Toronto and their her daughter bought my merch. It says, I don't chase, I attract. What belongs to me will simply find me. And then today's tip of the day goes to Kennedy Pug on Instagram. You just tag me, that's how you become tip of the day or merch shot of the day. And her tip of the day says, growth is often uncomfortable, messy, and full of feelings you were not expecting, but it is necessary. I love this tip of the day. And honestly, sometimes it kind of is a little bit trippy for me to think about like the fact that I feel like I really do like myself right now now and I know who I am and I know what I like and I know what makes me happy but it's kind of scary to think about the fact that I'm gonna be a completely new human being like in two years I'm gonna have to relearn myself and really re get to know myself and like grow it's just kind of scary I don't know what to think about but I don't know I have trust in myself that I put my relationship with myself before any other relationship and I put my mental health I try to put it like on a, before anything else <laughs> you know sometimes you get caught up in life and you know things happen but I don't know it's kind of, it's scary, but it is kind of beautiful. Growing, growing with people, growing apart from people, making new friends, staying with old friends, drifting apart from people. Oh, oh my goodness, look at her. She made her little cave. I don't know, I just, I've been thinking about that a lot recently. What are you guys' thoughts on it? It scares me a little, but it is very beautiful. But I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next daily vlog tomorrow. Sleep, play, sleep, time with you guys. Bye. I'm like a bright, just now I'm